In the annals of history, few events have echoed with as much resonance as the execution of Thomas Becket, Archbishop of Canterbury, in 1170. His martyrdom stands as a stark reminder of the perilous intersection between power and faith, a clash that reverberated throughout medieval England and beyond. Thomas Becket was no ordinary clergyman. Born into a prosperous London family, he rose through the ranks of society to become a trusted advisor to King Henry II of England. Their friendship, however, would soon be shattered by a conflict that would shake the foundations of the church and the monarchy. In 1162, to the surprise of many, Henry appointed his close friend Becket as Archbishop of Canterbury, the highest religious office in England. Initially, Henry likely saw this move as a means to consolidate his power over the church. However, once in office, Becket underwent a profound spiritual transformation, abandoning his former life of luxury and aligning himself firmly with the interests of the church. The turning point came when Becket clashed with Henry over the issue of ecclesiastical authority. The king sought to subject clergy accused of crimes to the jurisdiction of secular courts a move that would diminish the power of the church and strengthen the crown. Becket vehemently opposed this encroachment on church autonomy, setting the stage for a bitter confrontation. Tensions between Becket and Henry reached a boiling point when, in a fit of frustration, the king reportedly exclaimed, Will no one rid me of this troublesome priest? These words, whether intended as an order or not, were interpreted as such by four of Henry's knights who took it upon themselves to confront Becket in Canterbury Cathedral on December 29, 1170. In a brutal and shocking act, the knights savagely murdered Becket before the altar of the cathedral, staining its sacred precincts with blood. The assassination sent shockwaves throughout Christendom, eliciting condemnation from Pope Alexander III and solidifying Becket's status as a martyr for the church. The aftermath of Becket's murder was profound. Henry, fearing reprisals and excommunication, publicly repented and submitted himself to harsh penance, including a symbolic flogging at Becket's tomb. The king's actions underscored the enduring power of religious authority in medieval society, and the limits of even the mightiest monarch's power in the face of divine retribution. In death, Becket became a symbol of resistance against tyranny and a rallying point for those who sought to uphold the independence of the church. Pilgrims flocked to his shrine at Canterbury, seeking solace and inspiration in his martyrdom. His cult grew rapidly, and within three years of his death, he was canonized as a saint by Pope Alexander III. The legacy of Thomas Becket endures to this day, a testament to the enduring power of faith and the sacrifices made in its name. His martyrdom serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us of the dangers of unchecked ambition and the importance of defending principles, even at the cost of one's life. In a world often plagued by conflict and division, the story of Thomas Becket resonates as a beacon of hope, calling upon us to stand firm in our convictions and to never waver in the face of adversity.